let's try to use Jessup and see if we can encode our application properties and read them back in our application. All right, let's jump in. First thing we're going to do is go to our resources, to our application property file. And we're going to add a secret param. There we go. Secret param equals a secret. So now we're going to access the secret param. And we're going to do this by using an at value. And in this at value, we're going to import this. And then we'll use dollar curly bracket, the parameter. And we're going to put this into a string. So we'll say private string. Okay. So now we're going to actually return this value in our API. Should be simple enough. Let's go ahead and run this. Then we can go into Postman and go to API slash V1 slash test on port 8080. Okay, localhost 8080 slash API slash V1 test, and it comes back with our value of secret. So now what we want to do is we don't want to put a raw text in our config file, in our properties files. So we're going to use JSAP to encode that. And to do that, we're going to add in a dependency. So we're going to go to our palm.xml. We're going to add in a dependency here. And this is going to be the JSAP Spring Boot Starter. And I need to right click on the palm, go down to the Maven and say reload project. And it will go and get the correct version of that palm file for the library. All right, there we go. Now we have it in our project. Now, before we can actually use it, we need to set something and we need to enable the encryption properties. So I will add that in into our application. So I'll add another annotation and then we'll import that. So that's the first thing we need to do to start using this. Now we're all set up to use it, but we kind of need to pass a parameter in so we know the secret password. And well, obviously I'm not going to code that in our property file, but we need to put it somewhere. So we're going to add that on the command line. So I'm going to go in our IDE and we're going to edit the configuration. I'm going to modify the options, a JVM option, and let's apply that and save it. Okay, so we add in the enable encryptable properties, and now we can go through and start using this. In our applications, we'll need to add in an ENC to wrap this. But obviously this is not encrypted right now. We need to encrypt that. In addition, we added in our secret as a parameter, jcept.encryptor.password. So I use super key. Now I need to encode something. And I can do that on the command line. We can add into the build dependencies an additional plugin. We'll go to Maven Reload Project again. Now we go on the command line and run this. We can run this Maven task and encrypt our value. And this is the value that we now need. So now if we go into our application property, replace this in here, and let's see if we can run this. And now we can see the results. There we go. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please check out my other YouTube content. Follow me and like this and check out my classes on Spring Boot and Java on Udemy. Thank you.